Welcome back to Ram Reacts, and I have an awesome story for you guys today. This is what we've been waiting for, for the Republicans to finally acknowledge that the Democrats have been setting the rules, and instead of just letting them use their rules against us and us being too decent to use them back on them, finally we have Louis Gohmert of Texas, who is using the Democrat playbook against the Democrats. So, this is awesome. From the Washington Examiner, filled with racism and hatred, Louis Gomer introduces legislation banning the Democratic Party from Congress. <laughs> this is so great. This is so great. All right. Representative Louis Gomer would like to would like to see the House of Representatives ban the Democratic Party and urged party leaders to change the name of the caucus because the party once supported slavery. Hey, you gonna come they're gonna come after American history, but they're gonna try to ignore their own party history? Uh uh. Uh uh. I've been saying this for a while. And finally, we have a representative in Congress who is saying, no, no, we're not, we're not going to play this game anymore. You know, if you're going to hold America accountable for racism when you guys were the party of racists, then we're going to hold you accountable as the bad portion of the American history. They, they, keep wanting, they keep wanting us to just gloss over that very inconvenient fact for them. Um, as a great portion of the history of the Democratic Party is filled with racism and hatred, Gomert said. Uh, and here's, here's, here's where I think he, he maybe could have gone a little further. Yes, a great portion of the history of the Democratic Party is filled with racism and hatred, but most people think that that racist history stops in the 1960s with the passing of the Great Society and the Civil Rights Act. Um, actually, well, they think it stopped with the passing of the, the, the Civil Rights Act, but it continued with the Great Society, uh, which is a communist name for a... Uh, for a government project, if I've ever heard one. It almost sounds like Mao's Great Leap Forward. Um, so, yeah, a lot of people think that the Democratic Party, the party's flipped, which is bullshit. Well, I think only, only two only two Dixiecrats switched to the Republican Party in that time, and one of them was Strom Thurmond, who ended up becoming less racist and became, I think, one of the first one of the first people to actually have black uh, black assistants and aides working under him in his in his office. So he actually switched because he became less racist. Um, but yes, yeah, so, so in the 1960s, you know, they, they think that the, that's when the Democrat racism ended, but with the passing of the Great Society and Lyndon B. Johnson, we all, if you, if you haven't heard what Lyndon B. Johnson said when he passed that, that'll keep those <clears throat> voting Democrat for 200 years, then you need to understand that they just switched their modes of racism from an overt segre uh, you know, segregation and violence sort of racism into a subversive racism that instead just destroyed their families and their communities and made them dependent on government. You know, the, the, great, uh, the great society, a.k.a., you know, the American Great Leap Forward, um, it was basically the welfare program. It set up Social Security and all kinds of things, and, and very, very communist in its nature. But in order for these minorities to collect welfare, they had to kick the fathers out of the homes. So now you had entire communities that were raised with as fatherless children. And boys need a father to, to whip them in line. A mother just can't do all that. So their racism did not end in the 1960s. It continued, and it continues to this day as they are now the party that is bracing intersectionalism or intersectionality. You know, the, the idea that we can view the world through a racial lens. Gee, that's not going to lead to anything racial. Any, any racial tensions, any race wars, any racial violence, they know it will. They know exactly what they're doing. They're, they were the party of racism then, they're the party of racism today. They've just changed their methodology, that's all. Um, so anyways, before I go too far off on a rant here. Alright, since people are demanding that we rid ourselves of the entities, symbols, and reminders of the repugnant aspects of our past, then it is time, then the time has come for Democrats to acknowledge their party's loathsome and bigoted past and consider changing their party name to something that isn't so blatantly and offensively tied to slavery, Jim Crow, discrimination, and the Ku Klux Klan. If I wasn't stuck between this wall and this table, I'd get up and give Gomer a standing ovation because it's about damn time the Republicans grew the balls to play by the rules that the Democrats set. All right. On Wednesday, the House voted to take down the statue of former, uh, former Confederate General Robert E. Lee, as well as 15 other figures on display inside the U.S. Capitol, deeming them insensitive to racial minorities in America. For those of us who are sons of the South, 
who uh, those of us who have endured hardship, discrimination, and a lot of things that are very difficult to even talk about. For this moment in time where we are today, where we are going to start the process of healing and setting the record straight as it relates to the real history of this country, it is fitting and proper that those individuals who fought to keep many of our ancestors enslaved should not should should not have been recognized in a place where people are trying or, 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 or hold on should not have to be recognized in a place where people who do good expect to be recognized, said Representative Benny Thompson, a Democrat. <laughs> All these people are going to eat their own words. It's beautiful. Gomer, a Republican, introduced a resolution Thursday that would ban any name that would ban any names, symbolizes, I think it should be symbols or mentions of, of any political organizations or party that has ever held a public position that supported slavery or the Confederacy. <laughs> oh, this is gold. This is gold. I love it. The Texas congressman included in his resolution that more than a dozen instances of Democrats either sta standing in the way of civil rights reform or promoting racist policies. These included Woodrow Wilson's segregation policies in 1912, the Ku Klux Klan's presence in the 1924 Democratic National Convention, and the prominence of Senator Robert Byrd, who is one of the country's most racist lawmakers. And a very, very dear friend to Joe Biden and the Clintons. Hmm. Yes, yeah, so much for... <laughs> So much for the Democrats no longer being the party of racism. We've all heard a lot of Joe Biden's racist quotes. Um, to avoid triggering innocent bystanders by the racist past of the Democrat Party, <laughs> I would suggest they change their name, Gomert said. That is the standard to which they are holding everyone else, so the name change needs to occur. Gomert's resolution was co-sponsored by Reps Andy Biggs, Jody Heiss, Rand Weber and Andy Harris. This is just a fun story. I hope this passes, or at least the the least, the very least that I hope to come from this is that we start holding Democrats to the same standards that they hold everyone else. Because I am sick and goddamn tired of all of the double standards where they get to just run rampant with whatever they want to do. And if we do anything that even resembles what they actually do, we get called all kinds of whatever. What I, I mean, I, I'm not even framing that in a, in a racial or bigoted connotation, but it's just anything that they do, they're they're totally okay to do. But we do anything, and there's some sort of travesty attached to it, and that that is the double standard that I am loving Gomer standing up to here. This is an excellent bill. I hope it passes, and I hope it awakens people not only to the double standards that are set, but to the racist history of the Democratic Party because they absolutely he's absolutely right. If these are the standards that are set, they should have to change their name. In fact, I think they should we should all we should all hold each and every Democrat in office responsible for running under the banner of a Democrat with that racist history. Right? Right? Kick them all out, a new party can form, maybe the Libertarian Party becomes the the, the new second party. And then the Democrats just become a relic of America's racist past, and we'll just be one step closer to giving Black Lives Matter what they want. Well, not the real Black Lives Matter, because we all know they're cultural Marxists who actually just want the destruction of America, but for the people who actually believe Black Lives Matter is just based on a sentiment and not a Marxist ideology. Anyways, guys, uh, I, I always forget to do my shameless plugs, so if you haven't yet, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, drop a comment, like, share this video, really share this video because this is a fun one um also also please don't forget to follow me on facebook twitter instagram and parlor at ram thorburn i will admit i am most active on facebook and parlor i know i'm a dinosaur on facebook but whatever um also if you would like to help contribute to the channel there are links to my paypal patreon and subscribe star down in the description below so anyways guys i hope you enjoyed this video and please share it <laughs> Let's hope this goes somewhere. Um, but yeah, let your friends know. So Republicans are waking up, and this is great. So anyways, guys, you have a good night.